Easter Sunday, Chapter 1, Part 5, read by Thomas Holliday. The wilderness, a large swampland, was a few miles out of town. He anxiously scanned the road. Off to his right, he finally saw what he had been searching for. The headlights flashed on the new Maryland State Road sign, Great Wilderness Swamp National Wildlife Refuge. Behind it were the remaining graffiti-covered stones of the former monument, naming a wetland for a Confederate victory in Virginia in 1864. Hank turned, the vehicle leaning almost on two wheels, as it entered the sandy, rain-puddled road. Between the overgrown hedgerows, the vines and bushes scratched the truck metal. The cinder block ranger station loomed on his left. Beyond the building, was a large stand of towering loblolly trees leading to the swamp and the boat landing. Beside the road, he saw the line of trees of various ages that his fa family had donated over the years to the swampland property. Hank's father had planted them with him. Then, when Bobby was a child, Bobby had helped to place the trees. Beyond them, far off, were the porch lights of Pete Smithfield's farmhouse. He rounded another turn and ahead were the blinkers of fire trucks and rescue vehicles scattered along the sodden edge of Pete's lower field. Hank pushed the old nursery truck harder and faster across the ruts, springs bumping, metal creaking, black earth spattering the white sides of the truck. Some of the plants stored in the back, ready for delivery tomorrow, tipped to the steel rip floor the tide stalks rolled back and forth with the pitching of a truck. Earth sprang from the roots. Hank reached the landing and slid to a top. He tore out of the front seat, leaving the headlights beaming ahead and the door open. He shook his head in frustration as he tried to run forward, slowed by the wet, gusting wind.